Hi, I'm Heather. I'm passionate about real estate, making money, and I love a good property transformation. Today, I'm heading out to Hamilton with real estate investor Dave Knight, and we're gonna be taking a look at one of his flips that has been vacant for 30 years. Before we get into it, here are some things you need to know first about vacant properties. Number one, they can be hard to finance. Number two, you really don't know what type of issues you might be walking into since the upkeep has been neglected for so many years. Some great things about vacant properties are, you are going to be greeted by some very happy neighbors. It can also be a little bit easier to negotiate price, even in a seller's market. And also the value of the street and the neighborhood as a whole will increase when your renovations are finished. All right, welcome to our Fairly Project. Uh, this thing was vacant for 30 years, but it's definitely not vacant now. So let's go check it out. All right, so this place, believe it or not, was vacant for 30 years, which is pretty wild. Uh, there were squatters in here. There was, everything was going on in here. So we've taken it over we cleaned it right up. We're gonna make it into a really, really nice single family with a uh, in-law suite in the basement. While Dave usually specializes in converting single family homes to duplexes or triplexes, this particular flip is going to be a high-end single family home. The reason for that is after he did his research, he just realized that that would actually be the better property for the specific street that the property is located on, as well as in the neighborhood. While it is definitely great to specialize in a niche, it's also really important to be able to pivot and to know your market. On this project, Dave actually partnered with his contractors, making it a true group project. He was able to completely eliminate banks from the transaction, and he also used other people's money to finance absolutely everything. This was an interesting one. This was off-market deal. Um, again, this property was vacant for 30 years, so there's been a lot of people wanting this property, and I fortunately, my agent actually connected with uh, a neighbor in the area who happened to own the property and literally just left it vacant. But uh, long story short, we ended up uh, getting a vendor take back on it. So that's vendor financing. We agreed upon 650,000 was the purchase price. I put 100,000 down and the remainder she financed for 7%. So balloon payments, which basically means we don't have any overhead costs to pay her until the very end. So 650,000 by 7%, that's where we're gonna owe for the uh, the interest at the, at the sale. So none of our own pocket because the banks won't even finance this. And then uh, we're gonna put in here about 300,000 in renovation costs. We're looking to exit here, probably about 1.3. Vendor take back financing means that the seller of the home actually lent the money to Dave in order to buy the seller's home. The benefit to the seller is that the seller starts to make interest only payments from the buyer. The benefit to the buyer is that they were able to acquire a 30 year vacant property, which generally speaking, traditional banks like to stay far away from. What are we doing here? Oh, here we go. We got the tub and the shower. Okay, so there's actually gonna be a, a tub shower here. So a uh, stand up shower with a tub closet, vanity is going here. So we're gonna have three bedrooms on this level and upstairs is the master bedroom, which is really nice, I can't wait to show you that. So four bedroom and one, two, three, four bath. Uh, the seller uh, actually was pretty understanding. So she's a little bit savvy herself. She was very aware what even vendor take back or seller financing was. So she knew that not only was she gonna get the price that she wanted, but she was gonna get an additional 7% within a 12 month period, right? So there's a lot of negotiation in the background that happens with that, but it's also just coming in and just being, listen, I know you want this. Uh, are you willing to hold the financing and start that conversation? Uh, these homes are super old, right? Like over hundred years old. So oftentimes it's the old clay, they're cracked. So you gotta really be careful, especially when it comes into the plumbing side of things, but really good ceiling height down here. This will be the in-law suite. We're gonna do uh, one bedroom, I think is what we're doing. Yeah, one bedroom um, with a stand-up shower and uh, full kitchen down here. It's gonna be really, really nice. All right, so welcome to the master bedroom. This thing is, it's like a just big open vaulted ceiling zone here, kind of escape. So kind of a little bit of awkward, you know, spacing, but lots of space to it. And then we're gonna have his and her closets in here with a large shower, large bathroom, double vanity. It's gonna be really nice. Okay, let's talk about the numbers. Dave bought this property for $650,000. He put $100,000 down. He put approximately $300,000 into the renovations. He had to cover about 12 months worth of holding costs, which are financing, interest payments, 
insurance, etc. Then we have realtor staging and closing costs. And he's looking at selling this property for approximately $1.3 million, which leaves him with a net profit of approximately $170,000. For real estate content and everything related, please subscribe to my channel and you can follow me on Instagram for more.